apparently Obama and uh, Biden just got publicly proven as uh, high treason declassified documents. So we are happy to hear this. We are a legion, but really, me and my girls, we are Pantheon. Pantheon. So on the, on the, uh, in my opinion, and probably yours too, if you're on the, the lower strings, which are the bigger strings, it's easier to... So maybe you want to spend some time working on the other strings. Because especially when you play faster, the difference in the strings makes a big difference in how fast and how much resistance there is against the pick. This is a really flimsy pick. It's like an extra light. I wouldn't choose it, but it plays well. I think it's a Dunlop. It's got some decent traction to it. So, but the... I don't know if they arrive with a bend or they develop a bend, but if they develop a bend, you want the bend pointing downwards. So let me exaggerate this. So if you can feel that the pick is bent like this, then that side of the pick, come on now, common sense. You're gonna want it pointing down. And you can use your pick right now and try it both ways and you'll understand why. First of all, when you do a downstroke, you have more strength. Because of gravity, you know, you can let, you can just like hold on to the pick and give up on everything else and your arm falls and it makes a sound. So it doesn't require much energy. It requires no energy. It requires negative energy, zero. So you want the pick facing that way so there's less resistance when you come back up. And if you get a rhythm that you want to play and you're screwing it up, it doesn't matter if, uh, doesn't matter if you're screwing it up. You keep playing it. One and two and a three and four. Sometimes, like right then, I didn't know what rhythm I was playing. My hand was playing it, and I didn't know what it was. A little bit of alien hand syndrome going on sometimes. Also, musically, your right hand has the easy job, which is why you need to sometimes just work on this right hand alone. If you're going to play lead guitar in a heavy metal band and shred or play classical metal or real classical music on guitar, then you're going to need to spend a lot of time on your left hand technique. If you're going to be a songwriter, a strummer, play for fun, you really don't need to do that. But if you don't want to suck, it's your right hand that leads. It's indisputable. Unless you play left-handed like Hendrix and Cobain. Ooh, I changed it. All right, I changed it again. 
again. That time I played that riff one and two and a three and four. Three times. And then the fourth time did something different. That's called a turnaround or a fill. There's bass fills, there's drum fills. Long fills are called solos. See, it doesn't matter. Like if you're playing like on a gig or a show or for your friends and you miss one of the notes, it doesn't matter. They won't notice. And if they do, they're looking for a fault and that means they're not actually listening. One and two and three and four. One and two and a three and four. One and two and a three and four. One and two and a th uh, one and two and a three and four. Two and two and a three and four. Three and two and a three and a four. Four, two, three, four. <laughs> This time I'm gonna play it seven times and on the eighth time do the one, two, three, four. One, two. It becomes very natural over time. The best way to go between rhythms is to Pick two rhythms, one and two, and it, well, let's make it, let's not make it easy. You, you guys can do one and two and three and four, one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four, one, two, three, four. teacher what she wears Those are the frets. 